Hey everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to my ultimate Amazon gift guide for 2023. I have come up with 50 gift ideas, something for everyone on your list at all different price points and all budgets. So sit back and relax. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It would really help my channel to grow. Okay, so the first category is fashion. And I love my barefoot dream socks. I wear them all the time in the wintertime whenever I have my PJs on. They're nice and toasty. They keep my toes really warm. They come in different colors. These are extra long ones, but you can get shorter ones, different sizes. They wash and dry well. I've had these for a couple of years now. Totally worth the money. Now you know how much I love my Spanx tapered pants and my Air Essentials Spanx top. I have found a dupe on Amazon. I do not own it, but I wanted to include this in my gift guide in case you wanted to buy it for yourself or someone special. And it is their half zip and wide leg pants lookalike for the Spanx. It got great reviews. It's available in several different colors and there's a variety of wide range of sizing. Next up, we have a pair of slippers. I love slippers. I found this pair on Amazon. They just arrived. I just tried them on. They fit me like a glove and they feel very nice and cushiony. They're available in lots of different colors. They do have a hard sole on the bottom. These are gonna be great for wearing around the house. I wear slippers year round in the house because even when the AC is on, my feet get cold. So I just wanted to tell you about these really great quality for the price. Another favorite of mine is pajamas and I really enjoy the Nordstrom Moonlit Pajamas. And I see that Amazon has a look-alike pair that looks really great. I would have ordered them in, but I already have way too many pajamas right now. But they got great reviews, lots of different colors. And just by looking at the picture, you know, you couldn't tell if this is Amazon pajamas or the Moonlit pajamas from Nordstrom. They look really, really great. I have to steam a lot of my clothes whenever I'm doing my fashion videos. I do have a commercial size steamer and it is a Jiffy steamer and I will link it here. It works great, but if you want something a little more economical and something that you can take with you when you travel, I found this one on Amazon. It got great reviews. I've seen other influencers talk about it, so I wanted to try it. It's a great little steamer. You just pour the water in there. It comes with a little measuring cup. You put this on, plug it in, and and you are good to go. I think I'm gonna keep this in my bathroom because whenever I'm changing outfits, you know, it'd just be handy to have something just to plug in the wall and uh, steam out any wrinkles rather than going into the laundry room and using my industrial one. I, I use that one more like when I have lots of things to steam because I do not iron and it, it's really great and it's quick and it's kind of fun. Another thing for the fashion lover that you might want to pick up is a fabric shaver. Now I can't find mine. I have two of them. And you know sometimes when you get some clothes and they start to pill a bit, you just shave the clothing and it looks like new again. And my daughter actually finds this very therapeutic. She thinks it's a lot of fun. And just to see how much fuzz actually comes off the garment when you're finished, it just has this little clear thing where you can see all the fuzz. That is a handy thing also to have. And I also would like to recommend these closet storage organizers. They actually just arrived today. I haven't had a chance to open them, but I bought them for my closet in my bedroom because I'm trying more clothing. I need a little more storage. So I wanted one just for sweaters, just a one for, you know, my Spanx clothing. So I'll know, you know, where they are so I can just grab them real quick because my closet is beginning to burst at the seams and I really need to do a closet clean out. I had started earlier this year, but never got back to finishing it. So, you know, I got to do that in the new year. So now let's talk about gifts for the beauty lover on your list. And I have a brush stand and Amazon has a very similar one. I use this whenever I wash my makeup brushes. It comes apart so it's, you know, easy to store and it has all these different slots in the top. You never want to dry your makeup brushes pointing up. So you actually put the brush in from underneath so that the handle is up here and then the brush is actually down here and that just like helps it to keep its shape. Comes apart very easily. 
for storage. So this is a great find, you know, for the beauty lover, if you want to make like a little bundle of beauty items, I think that every person that is into makeup really should have a brush stand because it's it's quite a job and this would make it so much easier. When you're talking about cleaning your makeup brushes, I have this new mat from Sigma. I haven't tried it yet, but I do own different type of mats, but I wanted this one because it actually has suction cups on the back. So you just put it in the, the sink and it's, you know, suctions to the bottom of the sink. And then it has all these different types of, um, I don't know what you call them, like roughness where you, I guess for different types of brushes, if you have like a smaller brush, like a more delicate brush, you'd probably use something not as uh, rough. Whereas if you have like a bigger brush, maybe this one with has more like pointy rough things, really gets in there and gets the makeup out of your brushes. Now I have this on my list for Christmas. I really don't like washing makeup brushes. I try to avoid it like the plague. This I think would make like a nice bundle with the Sigma mat and the brush drying rack. That would really be a lovely gift for the beauty lover on your list. And something else I want to suggest, I don't have this, but I'm seriously thinking about getting one. And it is a skincare fridge and it can live on your bathroom vanity. You just need a place to plug it in. You can keep any skincare devices such as rollers or any facial devices that you might use like to get rid of puffiness. It's great to have your eye patches in if you prefer to keep some of your serums in the fridge. It's just a handy little thing, especially if you live in a house that has a couple of stores and you don't want to run downstairs all the time to the kitchen to get your skincare. It's just a great gift for a skincare lover. So the next category that I have is health and wellness. And you know I'm on a 50 pound weight loss journey and I've lost 20 pounds so far. I haven't weighed myself recently. Hopefully I'm still going in the right direction. But I drink about two to three liters of water a day. So a few years ago, I bought myself this Yeti cup. There's all different ones. You can get them even larger. You can get them where they're more tapered in the bottom. They come with a handle, but this is the one that I chose. Tons of color choices as well. Now this will keep your drink cool or warm if you're drinking a warm drink and it's um, you know not too hot to touch if you have like hot chocolate or coffee in your mug. I prefer to drink out of a straw. Now this is the top that I chose when I bought it. So I was gonna go ahead and buy another Yeti with the straw, but then I was snooping around Amazon and I found that I can just buy a new top with the straw and it fits exactly onto my Yeti. So now I have like this type of a, a top. You just push this back and forth to uh, access the hole where the liquid will come out. Or this comes with straw and the straw has a, uh, a grip in the bottom of it so you can't lose the straw. So I think this was around maybe 13 or $15. It was pretty inexpensive. So it saved me a lot more than buying a whole new Yeti cup. And I love my Yeti. I also have swell water bottles. I love these. They're great for the environment. You're not using plastic. They're portable and would make a lovely gift. Now, the next thing that I have to share with you, you can use it for so many different things. And I'm talking about this little ice roller. I actually took this part out of my freezer. This lives in one of my drawers in my kitchen. And you just pop this on like that. And this helps with any puffiness in the face. It's also great if you have Botox or a chemical peel afterwards and you have to like calm the skin down, cool the skin. You just go and roll all over the place. But I like this for headaches. I am prone to getting migraines. So this is one of my go-tos because I really don't take like taking a lot of medication. If I can find like an alternative, I try and do that first. This feels so good because normally my migraines are, you know, like centered there. And then I would just like roll my face for maybe five or ten minutes and it kind of helps to um, take away the sharpness of the migraine. I also have a different migraine relief and this is a migraine cap and this is very cold. It's been in my freezer for the last two months. It is ice cold but if you get a horrible migraine this is great because you put it on like a hat it even has like the top of your head covered because you know sometimes you can get pressure here too. You put this on, it covers your entire face, but there's a cutout for your, the nose so you won't feel claustrophobic. 
Go lay down on the couch. It's like you're in a dark room and this just feels so good on the head. It immediately helps like the pain in your head to not be so intense. And hopefully by the time, if you do have to take a migraine pill kicks in, you know, this is gonna help you out. But it's really, really cold, but this feels so good when your head is pounding and you're in so much pain. So now let's talk about jewelry. And I have had this jewelry tray for a couple of months and I love it. And I'm actually looking to see if I can buy more trays to expand. And what it is, is they are trays that fit into one another with this really cute little top. And there's slots for earrings, rings, necklaces, watches, you know, anything that you can think of, your bracelets. And you just like organize things how you want them. And then you just like lift the trays out because I did have a traditional jewelry box, but I just found it was so difficult to find my earrings and then my necklaces were getting all like knotted. So I thought I wanted to try something different. So I use this mainly for like watches, bracelets, earrings, rings. And then I have had this jewelry stand for the last 10 years. I bought it on Amazon and that's where I will hang my necklaces and some bracelets that I tend to wear more often. So I use the jewelry tray for more of my expensive jewelry. The little stand is more for, you know, just really well, good costume jewelry. I love it, very economical, and it looks so cute sitting on my dresser. And another thing that I have, but I forgot to bring it out, is a sonic jewelry cleaner. And I use mine whenever my jewelry starts to look a little dull. And sometimes I will even use it for my eyeglasses to give them a good cleaning. So you just follow the directions. You put uh, tap water or distilled water into the bin. And then it has this little mesh basket where you place your jewelry. And then I'll add just a touch of the original Blue Dawn dish detergent. Set the cleaner to go for however long you want it to clean. And whenever it is done, it turns off and you will not believe the difference in your jewelry. It's just because like our earrings, we get oil, we get hair products, makeup on them, and they become a little dull over time. Same thing with the glasses. It just has a gentle vibration where it takes away any dirt, oil, or grime. And you might have to like run it through a couple of cycles if your jewelry hasn't been cleaned in a while but it will have your jewelry looking like brand new and it's kind of a fun little gadget to have. The next category is for the cook and a cook can never have enough measuring cups or measuring spoons. I bought these on Amazon and they go up to one cup and I just like the design of them. They also have, on the outside, they also have markings, you know, for a half cup or three quarter cup. But, you know, you also have those individual cups in here. This particular set has a set of six. There's all different shapes and designs, but these are the ones that I bought and I like them. And then it's also great to have measuring spoons and I really like the set that I'm showing you because it's magnetic and they just, you know, store really nice and neat whenever you're not using them. And they also are great quality. Now I have been organizing my kitchen pantry and I've been getting OXO storage containers for the last little while. This one set that I'm linking, it's called their baking set, it has a big, big one for flour, then smaller ones where I'll put like nuts or icing sugar, a uh, different type of flour and they do come with labels so you can label everything. But I like the OXO storage containers the best because they have this little push button on the top where it seals everything in nice and tight and then you don't have to worry, say if you have brown sugar, it really shouldn't spoil. Although I still use my little brown sugar bear, you know, you wet it a little bit and then put it in and it uh, keeps your brown sugar from getting hard. And I also love these little OXO acrylic scoops. I have about three of them and they come either individually or I think I found a, a set of three. So that makes a really nice gift for a baker if you want to gift them the OXO set plus the little acrylic scoops. And I just leave the scoop live in the container with the flour. I have one for my granola. So just to show you, this is one of them. You can see the label says quick oats and there's the top. So you just push the top and there's a the little acrylic scoop. And it just, you know, it's great for uh, just scooping stuff out. It doesn't measure though. So it's not a measuring scoop, it's just like a scoop. And then to close it up, 
you just put that on and very well made. I really don't like chopping vegetables, especially onions, because I always cry. So I saw this chopper on Amazon and I bought it. And it does come with different uh, chopping compartments. You know, you chop, the stuff that's in here is very easy to access, but I wanna show you this. It does have different, um, well, I think you can spiralize vegetables with it. I haven't done that, but you can also like make, say if you're chopping onions, if you want them a little chunkier, you, you just slide this across and then the thing just pops out. Makes it super easy also for washing, but be careful. This blade is so, so sharp. You can very easily cut yourself. Then you just pop it back in, close it, and it locks. This, this is so handy. Like I use this so, so often. I think you can put it in the dishwasher, but I never put plastic in the dishwasher because I don't like how it kind of gets a little grungy looking after a few times. I just wash everything by hand and it stays looking nice. But I will tell you with this chopper, if you are thinking of buying this for somebody that's, um, you know, maybe a little more older, whenever you're going to chop an onion, like you really have to press down very hard. So just keep that in mind. If you're getting it for maybe an elderly parent or grandparent, they need to use some upper body strength for this. Oh my gosh, I think this is my favorite Amazon purchase forever. And I bought this maybe three, four years ago, and it is a digital meat thermometer. I bought it originally for when I was barbecuing. I do not like barbecuing. We call it barbecuing in Canada, in the States it's grilling, because I always burned the meat. I could just never tell when it was ready. So I'd actually take a knife, you know, cut the steak in half, to see if it was done or if it was still pink. And that is the worst thing you can do because it dries out your meat. So I bought myself a thermometer and I cook my meat to, you know, I like it well done to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you like your steak medium rare, well then it has a little guide and it'll tell you uh, what temperature it should be at. But I use this whenever I cook anything. I always, always check my chicken and make sure that it is at 165 Fahrenheit. I forget what they recommend, but I just always do 165. Because before also, I would cut the chicken in half to see if it was white or pink. So this just makes the job so much easier. It's fun. You just wash the stainless steel probe whenever you're finished. I actually wash it in between every time I poke the meat because I don't want any cross contamination. So if I poke my chicken and it's still not, you know, like at the temperature I wanted at, I'll wash the probe. So next time I poke it in, you know, I'm not getting any germs or cross contamination, but so, so handy. Everybody should have this little device in your kitchen. If you know somebody that loves to make smoothies, you might want to consider buying them a Nutribullet. There are so many different models. They come with all sorts of different accessories. Uh, the one that I linked is the one that I have. And it's great because the Nutribullet, you can make just like a single serving. Whereas if I'm using say my Vitamix or a blender, it's uh, quite a bit larger. It does a great job of blending up ice, you know, fruit to make a fruit smoothie, put some protein powder in, and that makes like a great meal replacement. Now I bought these cookie sheets a couple of years ago and I'm not a baker, but I will tell you whenever I make my mother's chocolate chip cookie recipe, the cookies, they just turn out so nice. They somehow get the air underneath the cookie and the cookie kind of fluffs up and it doesn't burn and it just makes a really nice looking cookie. I was using my old cooking sheets that I've had for like 20 years and my cookies would always come out kind of flat and you know, not very appealing looking. What a difference with this cookie sheet. But I also use my cookie sheets for doing uh, roasted vegetables in the oven. I will use it for making Greek potatoes. And normally I will line the cookie sheet if I'm doing potatoes just to sort of not stain it. But I saw these silicone mats and they're on my Christmas list. And they're great because they're good for the environment. You use them and then you wash them and you use them again so you don't have to use tin foil. So I know a friend has uh, some of these silicone mats. She received them for Christmas last year and she swears by them. They really do a great job. So now let's talk about gifts for the home. And I love my Barefoot Dreams blanket. I have the one that I'm showing you. This stays in our family room 
and year round I curl up in that blanket and my cat buddy likes to curl up with me as well. I also have a blue one that we have on our bed, but if you want the barefoot dream blanket look, but not the price, I have found a very popular, we'll say dupe for the barefoot dreams blanket. Now I myself don't own it, but I did read the reviews and I have seen several other influencers recommending it. I think that, um, you know, if you want to save some money, but have the look of the Barefoot Dreams throw, this is a good option. I saw this cheese serving board and I thought I should buy this, but you know, how often do we entertain? But if we did entertain a lot, I think that I would invest in it. And I think that it makes a great gift again for somebody that likes to cook or entertain. It comes with this beautiful wooden board and it also has like the cheese knives and uh, forks and whatever utensils you need for the different types of cheeses. If you know how to make a nice charcuterie board or even look on Pinterest, they can help you design how you lay everything out. You know, you could. There's a place for nuts, for meat, everything. I think this would make a fantastic gift. Now this next gift, I actually just bought it for myself. It's quite a practical gift. So this might be good, you know, for a dad because dads are always very practical. It's a flat power bar and it has four different plugs here. And then on the side, you can plug your phone in. And I bought this because in our family room, we have those motorized couches that recline. And in a typical, plug that an electrician puts in your house, there's only two slots. You can only plug two things in. Well, if I have our couch plugged in, I don't have a free slot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in to the wall and see how it's flat. If you have to push your furniture up against the wall, it's, you know, going to make it easier rather than traditionally, you know, how they stick out about that much. So then I will plug this into the wall and then I can put my couch in here and then at night I can just charge my phone here or I can plug my phone charger into here and I still have, you know, one extra slot. So I thought this was a really great gift for anybody. It makes a great stocking stuffer and I believe they have different uh, sizes. Like if you just want two or if you have, you want maybe more plugs, they might've had one for six, I can't quite remember but I really like this and it's great quality. For somebody that's kind of sentimental and wants to display their photos, I bought this photo frame, but I have yet to put any pictures in it. I need to get at that because I really don't uh, print out my photos anymore. They just live on my phone or on my computer. And if I want to look at them, I look at them that way. But there are a few photos that I do want hard copies of. So I hung my photo frame up and now I just have to fill it with uh, photos. And I think that makes a really nice gift. And if you even take it one step further and include the photos already in it, say you're buying it for a grandparent and you can put your children's photos in it, or if they have a favorite pet or just old family photos, I think it makes a really nice sentimental Christmas gift. Now let's talk about gifts for the traveler and I love to travel and I own every one of these things. The eye mask I bought whenever I went uh, on a Mediterranean cruise this fall. I cannot sleep on a plane, but I thought I'm going to buy this eye mask. Maybe if I just put it on and close my eyes, even if I can't sleep, I'll get some rest. And I'm usually not somebody that can wear an eye mask I love this one. It has big cutouts for the eyes. You can open your eyes and the lashes do not touch the fabric. You don't feel claustrophobic. It's not too tight. It's very comfortable and it's really great quality. I actually did use it one night in a hotel because whenever I sleep, I need pitch dark and I need quiet and this really helped with uh, making the room dark. I also suggest having a luggage scale when you travel. I try my very best to travel carry on only, but there are weight restrictions on that. So if you're a shopper, it's always handy to have just a little travel scale that you can take with you and make sure that you're not going to get dinged with any luggage fees. I also want to suggest getting air tags. Now I've been trying to get some, but they're always out of stock. And I think that an air tag is great if you are checking a bag because I have actually had my checked bag get lost before once we were on an overseas flight and I did not get my luggage 
until a day or two later. And the same thing happened once to my husband when we were flying to London. And it's a terrible feeling when you arrive at your destination and your luggage isn't there with you. It's really nice, I think, to be able to track your luggage and it's so easy now. You can buy these, I think, individually or they might come in a pack of four. You could buy a pack of four and split them up and, you know, gift them to different people on your list. But I think that they are a great thing. And maybe if you have like a child, you could pop one in their backpack. Or if you have an elderly parent that maybe sometimes, you know, wanders, it's also something that you could, uh, you know, maybe put in their coat pocket and at least you sort of have that peace of mind. You kind of know where they are. Now, this next item I have on my Christmas wish list. I have all sorts of different travel jewelry organizers, and I have yet to find the perfect one, the one that I love. But this one by Bag Smart is a flat jewelry organizer, and I own several Bag Smart travel bags, and they're a great company. So I saw this one, and I thought this might be good, especially for traveling carry on only because it's flat. So you just fold it up and it neatly could fit into your suitcase in between some clothes and nobody would know that it was there. And it looks like it does a great job of separating things, you know, not having your necklaces get all twisted up and in knots. This backpack I bought for our trip to Greece and actually I was going to use it because it is a woman's carry on approved backpack. And I bought it because it had a separate section on the bottom for shoes, which I think is genius. You can just unzip the bottom part, grab your shoes and go. And it's great because it's carry-on size approved and it fits underneath the seat in front of you. But my husband ended up using it and it was great. I ended up trying another bag, the Away bag, and on the same trip and I love that one. But I wanted to include this travel backpack because probably the next time that I do travel, I will use it. I could easily put a day or two's worth of clothing into it. So it's a great place to keep your medication, your electronics, your important documents. You wanna keep them close to you. You can also slip a very small travel purse into the backpack. So you stick within the airline's rule of just a carry on and then your uh, personal bag carry on. And I also use this RFID wallet card holder. I use that on our trip as my wallet and I don't think I will ever take a full size wallet traveling again. This is exactly is all that I needed took up so little space and it's so practical. This wallet is so versatile. You know, they have all different colors. It's perfect for anybody. It held my driver's license, my health card, credit card. It even had like an inside spot where I could put some bills, even some coin if I got change back. It has RFID protection. You always want to make sure that you have that protection especially when you travel so thieves cannot steal your credit card information. So that's something that I always look for. It has this little metal clip where you can hook it to the backpack. It's very secure and keeps your credit cards safe away from thieves. So next up is the Turtle Travel Sleeping. I don't know if they call it a pillow, but I have it. Used it on our flight to Greece. My husband used it. It's like a scarf. So you put the, we'll call it the pillow plastic port right thing where you want it. Like if you want it in front, if you tend to sleep like, you know, with your face going forward or to the side, and then you wrap the scarf and then you secure it with Velcro. And it does help to sleep. Now, are you going to get a great sleep? I guess it just depends on if you're a, an easy sleeper or not. But it does support the head. And if that with the eye mask, I think, makes a really nice travel gift for somebody if they uh, do overnight flights and are flying in coach. So the next item that I'm suggesting for a travel lover is this full face snorkel mask. I like to snorkel whenever we travel, but I typically just use the company's snorkel and eye mask. But the problem that I have is I have a small mouth and I find the bit that you have to put in your mouth and kind of clench down on, it's too big and I can never get like a seal. So I end up swallowing salt water and while well, we know that that is not good. It's an awful feeling. It's kind of makes snorkeling uncomfortable for me. So I saw this full size face mask on Amazon and I bought it for our last Caribbean cruise a year ago and I really enjoyed using it. I also took it to Maui and I really like it because I don't have to worry about that thing in my mouth. 
you just breathe normally like you're breathing into the area of the mask and there is like um, a ball in the part that sticks out of the water and if a wave comes over the, I think the ball closes or it's a valve so you don't swallow the seawater. It's great because you really get to see like a lot of things on the periphery whereas the other snorkel masks usually you know you can only see like this way with the full face mask, you can kind of see around, it wraps around the face, gives a great seal. You do have to measure your head to find out which size is the right size for you. Comes in lots of different colors. And I don't think I could ever go back to snorkeling uh, the original way anymore because this just makes it so much simpler for me. Oh boy, this is a lot of stuff to get through. So the next category is games, and I'm just gonna share a few of the games that we like to play over the holidays as a family. We like to play Phase 10, which is a fun card game. We also like to play Skaboo. That's another fun card game. We uh, found this game last Christmas, it's called Code Names, and you work with a partner, I think up to eight people can play, you have to give clues and then your partner has to try and like pick whatever word that is on the card that sits on the table. I'm not good at explaining it, but it's a lot of fun. Another game that we've had for years and we absolutely love playing is Scategories. That's a really fun game to play as a group over the holidays. So now a few suggestions for the men in your life. Actually, my daughter asked for this for her birthday and it is the Carhartt Lunch Kit. And she wanted this because it's a nice substantial sized kit. There are different compartments and there is a compartment where you can put an ice pack in if you want. Lots of different colors. It is very well made. And I think it's a great gift for anybody that needs a lunch kit. Now this is a gift for dad, but I just bought it for us for the house and it is the battery daddy. How many times do you go looking for your batteries and you cannot find them? This just arrived and I cannot wait to fill it up with my batteries. And it even comes with a tester, which is great. There's all different size slots for the different batteries that you have. You know, I like the clear acrylic top because you just look in, you say, oh, I need triple A's, there they are. And it holds batteries on both sides. This makes a really nice gift, I think, for anybody. Another really nice gift is these mini binoculars. And I bought them for our cruise to Alaska, and we use them all the time. We took this set, the mini set, and we also took the traditional larger set that we've had for years. We ended up using the mini set all the time. So lightweight, so easy to use, and they're just so handy. And now they live in my suitcase and they will travel with me anytime we go anywhere. But if you know somebody, you know, that enjoys bird watching or uh, traveling, maybe a sports event or even a concert if you're not close to the stage, makes a nice little gift and they're very, very economical. I also saw this neck LED reading light. Now, if you know a reader and they like to read in bed before they go to sleep, but they don't wanna have the light on to disturb their partner, I think that this makes an excellent gift. It would also be handy for somebody that cross stitches or knit, just somewhere where you need a little extra light because I'm finding as I'm getting older, I need more light whenever I'm reading or doing things. Um, you know, it's just one of the things of getting older. So I think it's a nice gift and a handy thing to have. And if you know somebody that likes hot sauce, I found this gift on Amazon. I think there's quite a few different choices of different hot sauces. I don't like it, so I don't know anything about it, but it got great reviews and I think that it makes a really nice gift. If you enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and it would really, really help my channel to grow if you would share my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.